I almost died 21 years ago and I had a new chance at life. My anniversary of my wreck. I kind of relive it, the like the moments that led up to it and, and all that. It's actually a great day because it gave me this life. I was paralyzed at birth, which is a unique circumstance for being paralyzed that way. I was on my way back to school. I was in college in Oklahoma, driving from Texas to Oklahoma, and my car suddenly apparently flipped over like a couple of times. So the next thing I knew, I was in the hospital. And when I woke up and became conscious, my parents were there. The first question that I kind of just asked was, okay, so am I going to be able to have a child? Even before the wreck, there was nothing more in the world that I wanted than than becoming a mom. I kid you not, when moms say you forget everything the, the moment the child comes out, that's exactly what happened to me. They just brought her on my chest and just everything was just beautiful. I was bawling, I started crying. It was so, so surreal. My day in the life is much like any other mom, able-bodied or not. You know, that's one of those big, huge misconceptions is that every single one of us has someone else taking care of our kids for us. And we don't. You know, you, you get up, you you take care of morning routines and morning chores, you start doing dishes, you start preparing for, for lunches and, and, and grocery shopping. It is not your regular mommyhood. It yeah. is, yes, as beautiful as your regular mommyhood, but there's a lot more that we struggle with. Community in the beginning wasn't something I had. I didn't have that. So I took it upon myself to record every step of my pregnancy journey. And I have like tons of videos on my YouTube channel just to help anybody out there that wanted to go through, you know, birth with a disability. I created a wheelchair mommy Facebook group. They can get support from, from other moms. We can ask each other questions like, What's the best way you found to pick your baby up from off the floor? Or what's a good crib? Does anyone have an idea for a changing table that might be accessible? We can learn from each other and that's very powerful. Most adults have this old don't ask, don't tell policy right. with regards to wheelchairs and disabled people. And I'm like, why? A doctor or someone will say, oh, did you get dropped off? No, I drove. Not everyone's exposed right. to people in wheelchairs to know, oh, we can drive. The wheelchair that we use does not define us, but of course, being a wheelchair user does affect everything that we do for the most part and our perspective. We're just gonna keep going. We're gonna keep shooting for the stars. Life is pretty much 20% what happens to you and 80% of how you react to it. You have to get to a point where you're choosing that if I'm still here, I'm going to try my best to continue on. A lot of times um, someone will say, hey, if you could go back and change anything in your life, what would it be? And I'm like, you know, I think about it. I'm like, well, honestly, I can't think of anything I would change. And they're like, you wouldn't go back and erase the wreck? I'm like, no. I really want to know that we've raised kids that grow up to be compassionate, happy. I want them to feel like love. For me, as my kid gets older, I hope that she can understand compassion. I hope that she understands hope because hope is like a big part of my story. I also want her to be able to express herself. No fear. And that's me.